being produced by them with the support of the collective and that's when the Dharni Farming and Marketing Cooperative Society was formed. So Dharni Farming and Marketing Cooperative Society is a producer owned cooperative and it has been supported or promoted by the collective. Currently it has 1050 small border farming families from 35 villages and about 3570 acres of land. Uh, Basically, it promotes eco-friendly agro practices, low energy organic farming, composting, biological pest control. And it gives complete support to its members, procures from members at about 10 to 15 percent price, <coughs> stores, processes, markets the produce, and has built a strong local and urban market base. Its primary objective, at least till 2013, is to make a gross profit of about 20% and strive for a small net profit of up to 3%. We, we try uh, to give better prices uh, prevailing in the market to the producer farmers, provide incentives to the farmers on the basis of patronage, according to how much they sell to the cooperative, to ensure farming practices are ecological and beneficial, and also give a good price to the consumers. I mean, this, these are the things that are the secondary objectives that farmers have come up with. So yeah, this will give you a, a general snapshot of, of the financials. So between 2006 and 2009 was where we were really, we were struggling and our revenues were about 53 lakhs. The last year we had a revenue of 56 lakhs. Our net profit was about 2.2 lakhs. We hope that next year it will go up and we'll be able to give our first bonuses to the farmer. Well, basically, this is the value chain. But simply done. So. We have the farmers who are formed into groups and then these groups are federated and formed into the Dharni farming cooperative. Basically they are producing uh, and they are, they are participating in the process of, of the processing and the wholesaling. We sell to local retailers, we sell to urban retailers, to organic food chains and uh, we have Raised, most of our money has been raised from uh, friends um, who have generously given us um, low interest loans. The first amount we raised was about 28 lakhs, the second amount was about 19 lakhs. We have not been able to raise any money from any of the financial institutions. And the first grant money that we have received for the business, we have received for staying salaries for the for the marketing team. And as of this year, Dudley is paying all the salaries except that of the CEO. So we are just about breaking even. And uh, going ahead. That's a small schematic of the of the organization our structure. Yeah. So now we have we have a business entity that was registered in, uh, under the Max Act. Currently, 1,050 farming members, 72 organic farming sanghas in 35 villages. The board is elected from among the sangha leaders. Uh, the term of three years. New board was elected in March 2011. And the farming team works with, so our investment from timber to collective into the back end, into, into the organic farming per se, has been quite large. Uh, we've been working from, from almost 2004 uh, with trying to change the, uh, the farming practices. And uh, we seem to have made some headway there. With only about we've worked with about 2,000 families till now, but only about only 1,050 have been registered as 
Uh, we have also invited IMO to come and do an audit of our uh, PGS uh, system that we have been using. We are also part of the PGS Audit Council. And uh, we use PGS uh, and, and we got IMO to come and do an audit of, of our systems, uh, which they passed. Um, they passed and, uh, and we think that the PGS system is really quite good. And we sell within a, a, a radius of about 350 kilometers. We do not want to sell any further. But then it's not up to us because the farmers would like to get, uh, that's the kind of, uh, kind of pull and push that we have our ideological positions, but uh, farmers need to have a better uh, return. And if they are able to export it, then they will export it. If they are able to send it to Delhi, they will send it. Uh, and we cannot and will not stop uh, because our basic basic idea is to try and get the farmers as much return as possible. Being the lowest paid workers in, in this country, we also believe that there is a great need for advocacy for forcing the government to subsidize organic farmers, to subsidize farmers per se, smallholder farmers. And I'm talking about smallholder farmers, and I'm talking about farmers. Uh, we have to get the government to be able to support the farmers, like they have been supporting the Green Revolution farmers. They should be able to support the smallholder farmers, especially in the range of uh, dry land regions. So the members are now able to sell their organic produce better. They have better returns. Their dependence on the local traders has reduced. Members are able to grow and sell millets for a support price and uh, increase the availability of organic food grains both in the villages and then we are able to, the farmers are able to bargain for better prices now. Because they both have dhani and if, if they are, they get, they know they are getting a, a good price with dhani. If they are able to get a better price outside, then they do sell. Uh, outside. So that's the processing center that has been set up. Now we are planning to set up processing centers at the mandal level so that there is more control uh, by the cooperatives at the mandal level uh, so that there are smaller number of members and they process their own stuff and then that me is able to market it uh, at, at a large level. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.